Hi beautiful people, you're welcome back again to my channel. You're very welcome again. My name is Naya Bali and the name of this channel is Yabi's Oh. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you or basically answer some first time questions. So if you're interested in seeing what's up, just kindly stick and stay and watch through till the end of the video. new to this channel thank you so much for dropping by i hope you're able to watch till the end you should because you're going to enjoy it if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for coming back to see yours truly and the very first question i have is what is the first app i use in the morning so basically i would say the first app i use in the morning would be my whatsapp because usually i wake up to messages and then i have to respond to the them the second question is my first broken bone so the first broken bone i can remember would be in jss i think it was jss one and we went to play football yes my class we went it was during PE so we we're playing football and I think I broke my leg like my leg just took the ground <laughs> the field we were playing on it wasn't so level you know and I was running and you know zero things and my leg just and I know I couldn't walk they actually had to carry me from the field to the sick bay and that's what I can remember was my very first broken bone. My first foreign country. So my first foreign country I visited would be Togo. Yes, Togo shares border with Ghana. So that was in, I think, GSS 1 as well. My father basically wanted us to have the experience of traveling outside on the budget. And I think he had to go do some things in Togo and also go and buy some stuff in Togo and see the place. I don't know, but it was over 15, 16 years ago. So that would be my first, the first country I traveled to. My first Instagram or Facebook post, I'm going to look for it and then I'll put it somewhere here or here if I find it. First makeup item I had. So the very first makeup item I had, I would say would be my lip gloss. Mind you, I grew up in a typical African home, not extremely strict, but my mom never allowed us to put any form of makeup on. I remember hiding to go and use my makeup. I think every girl has done this at a point in time, but the very first makeup item I owned was lip gloss. And I owned that because of the hammer tan and those time of the year when it's extremely dry and your lips are also very dry. It's get crusty, you know. So I that was the first makeup item I had. My mom allowed me to use it, but you can't use it so much and oil your lips. It's just enough to moisturize, moisturize, okay? My very first plane ride. So my first plane ride would be from Ghana to Hungary. Yeah, that was my very first time on the plane. It was quite an exciting experience because I've always looked forward to sitting in an airplane. And I did from Kotoka International Airport to Dubai and from Dubai to Hungary. It was quite a nice experience. I remember when the plane was taking off. I really wanted to sit by the window, but unfortunately I had a middle seat, so I was just trying to stretch my neck and look, and also not to appear like a novice. I was just looking out the window, like on the other side, just looking at it, and you could see us as we were like, getting out of the airport, and it looked like the airplane had slanted, and at the point you could see the sea, because Accra is a coastal town or city or region, and you could see the sea slanting, slanting and then we finally took off so that would be my first flight experience there's difficulty at school difficulty at school maybe would be homework not being able to do your homework or not understanding what's happening or failing class and you're going to be whooped for that it didn't make sense why should you be whipped for getting something wrong i think that's some part of ghana or africa's education that needs to be reformed imagine you have studied you have done as much as you can maybe in a class test or something or in a homework or and you did it or you couldn't do it basically so you came back to school with the homework because you couldn't do it or you got your answer wrong and then you are dreading being punished i remember we used to have a math teacher i think that would be in primary school maybe class four we used to have a math teacher <laughs> hey the man can whip eh and so that's the difficult situation i found in school expect expecting to be whipped it was quite an uncomfortable experience it needs to be reformed so that would be my uncomfortable situation first first uncomfortable or difficult situation i experienced in school the expectation to be whipped is even more heart palpitating than the actual weapon because you are seen let's say you are in line to be whipped and then they are whipping people oh my god they don't whip your hand whip your bum bum or the wicked ones extra wicked ones will whip your legs 
my first celebrity crush. So my first celebrity crush would be Ramsey North. I had a crush on him so much. I think me and my then best friend also had a crush on him. Yay! Oh, speaking of best friends, let's also talk about first best friends then. So I had a friend who I called my best friend from kindergarten all the way through to GSS 2 or 3 years. I think that was my first and maybe my only best friend technically because we were very tight. At the point people thought we used to look alike but as of today we don't talk. We're not in contact like that. So yeah, my first cooking experience. My first cooking experience, I think as children in a typical African ex African household, you should know, you would experience this. So my grandma used to sell provisions, basically rice, milo, canned foods, sugar, and all that stuff. And then we had a neighbor who also used to sell fresh foods like tomatoes, onion, pepper, ginger, fish, smoked fish. So what we'll do is that. Mm -hmm. The girls in the hood. We were young, we were like five, six, seven years old. I'll bring rice, mm. I'll bring rice, I'll bring salt, everything that's have some of the things that's available in my grandma's shop. I bring it, and she also brings pepper, onion, fish. Like, she also brings, she doesn't say steel, no, we just take just a very little amount and we fit it into like a tin of milk. You know, we have this small tin of milk, will be about this side. Then we just cook some rice in it and cook some stew in it. So that would be my first cooking experience. My first boyfriend. Oh, my first boyfriend. I had my first boyfriend in uni. Yeah, I think I was in, was it 100 or 200? Yes, yeah, that was my very first boyfriend. Yes, and I was very old before I had my first boyfriend because in a typical African home, you never have a boyfriend until the day before you're married. Thank you. My first job experience. Okay, so this question is a bit dicey because I've had internships in school, like during... Okay, 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 I think I need to talk about internships. I talked about an actual job. Okay, so after national service, I got this job offer, this customer care or call center environment. So that was my very first job experience, I would say officially. And I really, really enjoyed it. It was actually my, my first job or the job I had before moving to Hungary. So it was quite a nice job where I had to interact with customers, talk with customers and not necessarily talk but you know chat with them so you are behind the chat like yeah 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 so that was my very my first job experience I would say I enjoyed it so much it was an open office I liked my colleagues I miss them so much even at tonight I can't even recall some of the experiences we had it was quite a light environment a light-hearted environment even though we had goals to meet and all of that but it was a very nice experience and I enjoyed working there so my very first working experience would be in like a service help desk sort of environment the first language i learned so what was the first language i learned the first language i grew up in um my parents are both gone so i grew up speaking gone and also tree and english is the official language of Ghanaian. so english is what the curriculum is taught in so i can't really tell exactly which was my first language okay let me just say my mother tongue which is Ghana, was my first language i just grew up learning it but to actually actually sit in class and learn another language that would be french because ghana is bordered by three francophone countries so it was part of our curriculum you have to learn french from like class one till gss3 and even when i went to secondary school we also did um french for one year so i think french would be the official language i actually took time off to study but growing up you grew up with english ghana three and every other local language first pet my very first pet would be a monkey we named it ricky rest in peace this one says what my very first sexual experience pass the next question says my very first bad word you i think it's the shp t word like you do it you do it without even realizing it's like some you hit your like oh sh then you say it okay but it's something i'm not so comfortable saying so I, instead of saying that i'll just say shoot you know you know you still get it. yeah so that would be my very first bad word or cuss word my very first piercing so i currently have two piercings on each ear thinking of getting more maybe maybe not it doesn't add or change or take away anything from my life or my experience but it's just nice for me so typically my very first piercing you had it as a child in africa once you are born and you're a girl they will do it for you even before you can say Meh! they'll just pierce here and pierce here for you but the extra one i got i had it in uni in my last year of uni actually i got the extra piercing i actually got it in my mom's salon she had someone come do it for me and and you know what i actually closed that one because i was like oh 
Um, people will say this, people will think I'm a bad girl, people will think I'm a bad girl, that's that's that. So I actually had it in my first, in my last year of uni, but I closed it then. I was like, I still want it. And my mom is comfortable with it. It doesn't change from who I am. It doesn't take anything from who, my, who I am. And society is going to judge you regardless of what you do or what you don't do. So after uni, a few months after uni, I think... I had it in, I guess, that same year I graduated from uni and I've had it ever since. And sometimes I'm just tempted to have one or two more. Maybe one here. I don't know. So yes, that would be my first piercing. My first experience on the ship. Yes, that reminds me. We used to have this MV logos. It was a ship and it was like a bookstore in a ship. So they used to come and... How do you say? You know cars parks. Cars park. What do ships do? A docks, yes. A docked in Tema. We went and then we bought some books. I have some books I bought from Enid Blyton books I bought from there. I still have them in Ghana. So I think that would be my first ship experience. It wasn't like a cruise ship, like but it was also a ship experience where it was quite a big ship. They used to sell books on different layers and they move from ports to port so from harbors to harbors so at that time they were in Tema Harbor I think I was in JSS as well it was quite a nice experience yeah my first YouTube video okay actually what you would see as my first YouTube video is not my first YouTube video before that I used to try my hands on some videos with my den phone but the quality was not so good if you've been following me for a while you know I'm I usually film with my phone till I upgrade if you're interested then go to touch your heart you can give me a camera I don't mind I'll be happy but I'm currently filming with my iPhone 10 and before the nice to film with my iPhone 6 plus like I had created the page long ago but I wanted to put something there but I wasn't happy with the quality of the videos there so I just deleted it and shortly after I got this phone I started uploading again so yeah whatever you see there take it as my first youtube video <laughs> first person i spoke with today would be my roommate yeah because i live with people so i spoke with my roommate today when i went out but the first person i texted would be my former roommate and friend she's currently in ghana now but i woke up to a message on whatsapp from her so i responded yes 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 so that would be the first person i texted today and that was also the first so i've answered both questions first person i spoke to today and first person i texted today first thing i like about my room so the first thing i like about my current room is that yeah i like it so my much. first favorite food first favorite food first favorite food how would i remember my first favorite food please me my favorite foods are menu they are mini because i like a food i like a food even thinking of food is making me hungry now i can't remember my first favorite food but i know i like food i like banku with okra okra soup or okra stew and you have the beef you have the snail you have the crab you have the willy you have the fish jesus the moment i land in ghana i'm eating this my Man. first makeup brand the first makeup brand i can remember would be this lipstick i had it was a purple lipstick my mom gave me it was from sleek sleek cosmetics so that was my first makeup brand i actually can remember and last but not the least my first favorite color my first favorite color actually was yellow i still have a soft spot for yellow i don't know what happened growing up and all of that all of that purple somehow found its way into being my favorite color but I've always loved yellow and I think I want to go back to yellow because yellow complements Okay, purple also complements my skin as you can see on my lips But yellow was my first favorite color and it became my first favorite color because it was my it was the color of my PE tunic I think in school you used to have PE tunics Like what you wear when you're going for physical education and in my school we used to have red yellow green blue and I had yellow, so I automatically fell in love with yellow. It was my favorite color all the way through till junior high school, my first years in secondary school. And then I was like, okay, purple is now removed. So yes, guys, this is basically a summary of all my first time questions. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope it was light-hearted, fun-filled, and all that good stuff. So without much ado, I'm going to end this video here. I don't want it to be so, so long. If you enjoyed this video, kindly leave a thumbs up. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And kindly leave a comment, okay? All of these things help my channel grow. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, it's loading. Bye for now. If we are... Hey, what am I supposed to say? <laughs>